Once again, hello students. As you can see on the board today, we're going to work a problem that has to do with the bill payments. Remember that you can subscribe for more videos and with no further delay, let's get right into solving the problem for today. And if you can see, it says bill payment part one, Mr. John's monthly bill. The previous is 50,287 kilowatts. The present is 50,567 kilowatts. And one kilowatt hour is 45 cents for every kilowatts Mr. John use. Service charge, $10. GST, which we pay to the government, is 12.5%. And there is a rule that we learn in math that whenever you want to find 12.5%, just convert that as a 25 over 200. So you change a 12.5 to 25 over 200, and that's how you'll find a 12.5% of any amount. You just cross multiply. So for step one, the first thing you're going to do is to minus the present from the previous. And that will tell you how much kilowatts Mr. Jan used. So we could multiply it by 45 cents. So it's a present, which is 50,567 minus your previous amount, which is 50,287. We minus that, and step one will be solved. So seven from seven is zero. Six from eight can't borrow from the five. The five becomes four. This becomes 16. 16 minus eight is eight, and four minus two is two. So how much kilowatts Mr. John used? Mr. John used 280 kilowatts. So that's step one to solving a light bill like this. When we minus our present from our previous, we got 280, and that's 280 kilowatts that Mr. Jan used. So in order for us to find out how far his bill is at the moment for that 280 kilowatts, we have to multiply it by 45 cents. Because remember, the bill says that every kilowatt Mr. Jan used, it's 45 cents, and he used 280. So we have to multiply this 280 by... 45 cents. So let's multiply 5 times 0, 0, 8 times 5, 40, bring on a 0, carry the 4, 5 times 2, 10, and 4, 14. All right, then under the tens place, usually erase it so you don't get confused and you use it back again. So we erase that. 4 times 0, 0, 8 times 4, 32. Bring down the 2, carry the 3, 4 times 2, 8, and 3, 11. We'll add this, and that will tell us how much Mr. Jan's bill is at the moment. So 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 4 plus 2 is 6, 1 plus 1 is 2, and you bring down the 1, add your decimal. So far, Mr. Jan's bill is at $126. And how do we get that $126? By simply multiplying for step two. Remember step two is how much kilowatts Mr. John used, 280 kilowatts. And the bill tells us that it's 45 cents per every kilowatt. So we multiply 280 by 45 cents. And that's how we get $126. So now let's erase this as we go into Step three, remember it's $126 for that 280 kilowatts that Mr. Jan used. So let's put back our $126. Remember again, how do we get that $126? It's 280 kilowatts when we minus this from this, multiply it by 45 cents, and it's $126. So two more steps, and the bill will be solved. One thing I want you to note that whenever you're solving a bill, there are times when you'll see an extra message here that will say, do not include service charge. But in this case, it didn't say anything about do not include service charge, so we have to add the service charge. So this service charge is already added to our bill, so we have to add that $10 to the $126 that Mr. Jan used in 280 kilowatts by 45 cents. So we add this because that $10 is a part of your bill. Zero, zero, add a decimal. Six plus zero is six. Two plus one, three. And you bring down your one. 
So far, after adding that service charge that is already included in your bill, Mr. Jan pay $136. Okay, so let's continue with our final step. We're finding the 12.5%. Remember, we say we changed that to 25 over 200, and that's just a rule. So now we want to go into close to finding the final step, which is the government GST of 12.5%. So remember, I said earlier that the rule, whenever you're finding 12.5%, you just convert that to, so it's 25 over 200 times the amount of the bill, which is $136 over 1. And remember, how do we get that $136? We simply get that $136 by adding the $10 to that $126 that we got from the 280 kilowatts that Mr. John used. Okay, so let's um, cancel out. 25 could go into 25, 1. And 25 could go into 208. So we equal to 1 times 136 is 136 over 8. So you see we're finding still our 12.5% for the government, which should be $17.00. So now, after we cancel out, remember there is no zeros here, here, so we cannot cancel out any. From here, we could have done it by twos, but we go straight into the bigger number, which is 25 into 25, 1. 25 into 200 is 8. So 1 times 136 is 136, and 8 times 1 is 8. So 136 over 8, it means that you're going to divide 136. And 8, see how many times 8 could go into 136. And that should give us the $17 that we're supposed to pay the government for that 12.5% GST. All right, so 8 could go into 13 one time. 1 times 8 is 8. And 13 minus 8, of course, it's 5. 8 cannot go into 5, so you bring down the 6. And 8 could go into 56 perfectly 7 times. And 7 times 8 is 56. When we cancel out, we're left with 0. So we're going to pay the government that 12.5%, which is $17. So the final step, remember when we stop the bill, after we add that $10 service charge, our bill was at? hundred and thirty six dollars then after we find that twelve point five percent which is twenty five over two hundred times one thirty six we got seventeen dollars so we have to add that because we're paying that a part of our bill and after we add that seventeen dollars to that one thirty six the bill is solved for the month mr. John will pay a hundred and fifty three dollars for the amount of kilowatts he used the service charge, and the government 12.5% GST. You could subscribe for more. Look forward for more videos on part two of this bill.